Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. Now in this video, we are gonna talk about the most famous giant of the internet, the WordPress. So let's get started here. So basically, WordPress is a free platform initially developed to build blogs, but nowadays it's used as a content management system for many websites. A large number of developers are choosing WordPress as a solution when setting up their website due to perceived advantages of the platform. The advantages, however, are not always correctly understood. Therefore, the main goal of this video is to present all the advantages, or you can call them as a pros, of the website building using WordPress. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the top five reasons why you should be sticking to the website. So let's get started with the very first and number one pros of getting started with the WordPress. WordPress is open source. Now, many programmers share their code online, which results in ability of users to save development time and cost by using the existing code. And WordPress, it's having all the code as an open source. And that is number one reason why you want to really get started with the WordPress. The number two reason is it's convenient to use. The WordPress is made for majority of the market so that, so that the admin interface is convenient and friendly towards non-professionals or non-tech guys. Now WordPress is a simple system to operate. The webmasters hardly need to spend any time to learn the system before he or she can begin with working on the website or editing some contents on the website. Now, in addition to the system is super simple, the, su the system is actually super system to install. And that brings us to the next point. It's fast construction. Now, one of the main advantage of building a website with the WordPress is the ability to be, to be easily installed uh, on the hosting server so that webmaster can start within no time and uh, within a quick short span of time, he can start building a WordPress website. Moving on to our next point, which is the pricing. I know we have talked about the WordPress is open source, but WordPress development is actually way more cheaper than if you want to design a website using full stack, full stack technologies like Node.js or Pure ASP. It's much more cheaper than that. Also, there are hundreds and hundreds of developers out there on the websites like Freelancer who are ready to make your project and make it live. And finally, bringing up to our next point, which is plugins. You need a video support, there is a plugin. You need a live chat, there is a plugin. You need a map, there is a plugin for that. So WordPress comes up with thousands and thousands of plugins that can do a lot of job for you. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm a big fan of WordPress, but there are some security issues that you have to take care on the WordPress itself. But we may talk about these security issues in a later on videos about the cons of the WordPress. Maybe we can design that later on. Right now, these are all the pros or cons which you really think about before getting started with the WordPress. Now, in case you are really interested to get started with the WordPress, I have linked down below a coupon code which will really help you to get started and design beautiful and awesome website with the WordPress. So with this, I would always, just like I always say, is, I would also say this in this video as well. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and in case you like the videos, make sure you do hit the like button. In case you want to give some suggestions about my videos, content or production, I'm open to all the critics out here. Also, make sure if you can share the video, somebody can get advantage from this video, make sure you share that as well. And don't forget to check out the coupon code at the below description here. And I'll catch you up in the next video.